Here are the best ways to change the row height and the column width in Excel. The first method is simply to adjust it with your mouse. So you can go over here in between the columns and hold down the left mouse button and drag it to the right or the left to increase or decrease the width of the column like this. Now, let's try and make all these names fit in the column width like this. Now, it's the exact same method for adjusting the row height. You can simply hover your mouse in between the row numbers and hold down the left mouse button and drag it like this. Another way to do this is to right click the column and click column width. Here you can set a specific column width by changing this number. So let's set it to uh, 13, for example, and hit OK. And now we have a column width of 13. And we can adjust the row height the exact same way. Click here and set a number here to adjust the row height. And please note that the numbers don't represent the same units. So it's a bit confusing, actually. These are points that each represent some kind of inches or something like that. And the column width number has something to do with how many characters on average that can be in that column. So they have nothing to do with each other. So you just need to figure out the number you want by either hovering your mouse over here and holding down the left mouse button where you can see the actual width. So you can get to know these numbers and set them accordingly by using the row height or column width buttons after right clicking. Another way of doing this that may actually be better for you is to auto fit the row height and the column widths. So you can do that by double clicking the edge in between the uh, columns here, for example, like this, and that automatically changes the width of the column to match the longest text or the longest content in the column. And you can do the same with the rows by double clicking here, and that automatically adjusts the row height to match what's in the cell. And in this and most cases, it will match the other rows in the data set. You can also do this from the home tab. So let's select a row here. Make sure you're in the home tab, go to format and click auto fit a row height like this. That's really cool, but it's going to take a while if you need to do that with all the rows manually, specifically going in and changing the height. That's going to take forever. So I'm going to show you a better way of doing that. But before I do that, please, if you like the video so far, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks. All right, so let me show you a better way of adjusting multiple rows and or columns at the same time. So let's try and mess up this here and here. And we want to adjust all these at the same time. We can simply select multiple rows and either adjust them like we did before, like this. As you can see, when I drag this, they all change to the same size or I can simply double click here and they all auto fit at the same time. And it's the same with columns, obviously. So if I select these four columns and double click here, they all auto fit at the same time. But if I drag here, they all adjust to the same width. Pretty cool. And this also applies to the previous methods I showed you. So let's right click and change the column width here like this. And all of the columns are changed to that exact width at the same time. To do this quickly for all rows and columns, you can just select all the rows and columns, all the cells in the spreadsheet here, and click on Format, click Auto Fit, fit Column Width, and then click the Auto Fit Row Height here. And then all of the columns and rows are standardized and sized to what's in the actual cell. You can also adjust the default width of all columns in Excel by going to Format, Default Width, and let's select a standard column width to, let's do five, that's very narrow. Click OK, and now you can see that all the columns that have not been manually adjusted by you are changed to this new default column width. After watching this video, I think you should watch this video up here, but the YouTube algorithm thinks you should watch this video up here. 
Let me know in the comment section if my pick is better for you. Thanks for watching. See you.